Hello loves, hello, hello. It's Hills here from the Blue Flame Apothecary coming on to share with you a bit of energy, a bit of the frequency of the equinox, which happens at 11.49 p.m. Pacific time on the 22nd of September. So for most of the planet, most of the planet will experience this equinox on the 23rd. As I have been on this pilgrimage through the Pacific Northwest, up through the coast, and now I've come inland and I'm in the Cascade Mountains in a place called Sisters, Oregon, I have been feeling a lot about what is on offer for us energetically during this current equinox cycle. Let's explore as we dive in a little bit about the equinox itself, which is a point each year, there's two of them each year, where the sun and the night are of equal proportion. The sun and the night are of equal proportion. It is a time of coming into balance. It is a time of coming into balance. And when we have the Libra equinox, this is very, very, very much about harvesting. It's about coming into right relationship with and, and balance with everything that's falling away and everything that's grown. And here in the Northern Hemisphere, the Libra Equinox opens us into fall. In the Southern Hemisphere, this will open you up into spring. However, even though from an energetic perspective where you're located, you may be coming into that rebirthing energy of spring, the Libra Equinox itself is about a settling in, a deepening in. And with all of the retrograde energy that we currently have during this particular equinox, that is even more true. <laughs> even more true. The words that I kept hearing is equalizing. Equalizing. This particular energy portal is about coming into the, bringing everything up into the highest frequency currently available. We've been talking a lot, if you've been following along, about how we're in a very powerful Akashic Records and past life sort of energy portal as the South Node is traveling through Libra now and coming into tighter and tighter conjunction with the stellar dimension we call Arcturus. This is a place where we can access where we've been to greater extents. And every, every year when we have the Libra equinox, the sun comes conjunct with another cosmic force, which is the super galactic center. And this is part of where I was really feeling us being called and guided to during this for this energy update, for this frequency transmission. The supergalactic center is, well, let's, let's go out before we can go in. If we think of our galactic center, if we think of our galactic center, we can, we can visualize it. We've, we have pictures in our mind, right? Of this beautiful, bright white, light at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. And we understand that at the center of this white light is a black hole. The supergalactic center is that point, that bright white light with the black hole in the center for not just our galaxy, but about 52 other galaxies that are all in the gravitational pull and orbit of this space. So can you feel the interconnectedness 
of this and isn't it interesting that it's in Libra, the sign of connection and relationships? When we are coming into contact with this point, as the sun moves into the zero to two degrees of Libra where this point exists, we come into our point of equalization. We come into our point of balance. And what I have been hearing for us for this particular equinox portal is that because we have so much retrograde energy, because we have so much capacity open up right now for connecting in with the where we've been, we are able to hmm, throw those feelers back into the where we've been and we can find all of the high frequency notes, all of the high frequency notes within that and bring all of that up and connect it into the super galactic center, into the frequency of love. Because if we remember that all high frequency energy is the frequency of love. So we are bringing all of the love that's within us, expanding it bigger and bigger and bigger, letting it come into its highest alignment and to balance, to come into balance with the frequency of the supergalactic center. <laughs> that's all, you know, that's all, we're, that's all we're doing is we're coming into yet another activation of our higher frequency vibration. Sedna and Alcyon are part of this party. Sedna and Alcyon are part of this party. They are both at zero degrees of Gemini, putting them in an exact trine to the sun and the supergalactic center. Now, Alcyon is always in this trine in the supergalactic center, and isn't that interesting too? So Alcyon is the center, central star, the great central star of the Pleiades the stellar dimension that is connected to the birthing and to the leaving, to the dying. It is connected to the birthing and to the dying. And it is very elemental. It helps us to connect in with the cycles of life here on Gaia and to find that resonance that is love even in those moments of dying that we can feel love more profoundly sometimes in those moments than we can even in the births. And as everything cycles, as we orbit around the circle of the galactic center, which our galaxy circles around the circle of the galactic center of the, <laughs> the super galactic center, this energy is very, 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 very um, expanded and it can get really hard to translate. It can get really hard to translate. And that's part of why we have so much retrograde energy and we're coming into eclipse season. One of the, one of the places that I'm being asked to open for us, one of the doors I'm being asked to open for us is to allow this very high frequency galactic information. Sedna again is also very connected to this galactic information. The asteroid Sedna, we're talking about the asteroid more so than the archetype, but the archetype is as well. The asteroid Sedna goes all the way out to the farthest reaches of our solar system. You can almost not see my hand in this video, which is a perfect example of how far out Sedna goes and is currently on trajectory orbiting back and over the next 40 to 50 years or so is gonna make a pass closest to Earth. And this orbit takes 10,000 years. So 
when we work with the energy of Sedna in this way, in this asteroid way, what we're connecting into is the information that is beyond the veil of our current solar system experience. And Sedna is bringing this information collected, as it were, from the galactic, from the space of the supergalactic center in trying, bringing these gifts back to us. And as our sun meets in trying to this energy, we are being brought into an alignment and a place where we can start to balance this within our system. One of the things that we are opening this doorway to, we're, we're, we could think of this as opening the causal chakra even wider. These, all of the chakras from the heart up, including our soul star and our stellar gateway and our causal and our fourth eye and our third eye and our throat, of course. What this is doing is it's bringing this information in. We're, we're gathering the information that Sedna is bringing into us from the supergalactic center, from the greater cosmos. And over this next couple of months, as we have all this retrograde energy, it will filter through our system. It will filter through our system. We will learn how to translate it and then to be an expression of it in the world, to be an expression of it in the world. And this is Sedna in Gemini at the zero degree. Part of this is, it is very important to not live from here up. It is very, all of this energy is coming in. All of this mental energy is coming in. So the meditation that I'm being guided to offer us is to connect in, in that way which is truest for you, to this energy. You can send your heart out into the supergalactic center. You can, uh, you can ask Sedna to share with you that which you need to be shared, what, that which most serves you, what is in your highest good. You can connect into your soul star and your causal chakras and start to feel the information, these light codes. And a lot of times this particular energy will be very diamond white very diamond white, fluttery sort of energy. Coming in, coming in, coming in, and then coming into your heart space. And from there, flowing, following your veins, flowing down into your solar plexus, into your navel chakra, into your root, and all the way down into your earth star chakra. One of the things that we are trying to do here one of the most important things is to be these channels of light, to allow this information, this energy, this love to flow through us and directly straight into the core of Gaia, straight into the core of Gaia. So I invite you now to vision yourself, open wide, open wide, almost like a funnel, the heart as the, as the narrow mouth of the funnel that extends up and out, open wide, allowing this information to flow, all of these frequencies of light, sound, these spectral waves to flow down spiraling through the funnel into your heart. As it moves deeper into your heart, it connects in with your veins, with your waters, and it begins to flow through you and down Merging out of your feet as roots and into the earth. Star that connects you to Gaia. 
and flowing further down still all the way to the core of the earth, connecting all of this information, all of this love light, all the way through the entire grid of Gaia into the core where it connects in with the ocean that encircles the core of the earth. Just discovered this. And these waters can flow it back up, back up, nourishing and nurturing all of the groundwaters and the magmas of the earth, nourishing and nurturing all of the mycelium networks and the roots of all of the trees and all of the oceans and all of the planktons and everything that calls this beautiful planet home. And we're, remember, we're allowing this spiral light to flow down through the funnel to connect into the heart and to flow out and down through our entire body. So this is not just for Gaia, it is also for us. So that's the meditation that I am being asked to share with you all for this equinox. If you are part of the Blue Flame Members Portal, I will also be <laughs> recording a transmission or activation of some sort. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet from Mount Shasta during the Equinox portal. So that'll be uploaded. If you're curious about the members portal, there will be links below. I am also hearing to go check out the, the latest the, the last two in particular energy updates that are connected to this current Akashic portal that we're in because part of this ability to be this funnel of grace is also to clearing out the debris within your system that might clog, that might clog that funnel, right? <laughs> Oh, let me feel if there's anything else to share with you. Huh. This is a very, very empowering time. We, we don't get portals like this where so much excavation is possible all that often. And so find those ways even, even where you can like get in where you can really get in and examine that funnel. A lot of times for me, I can share, it It feels like it's in the diaphragm area, that little divot between where your ribs separate. When I am having a lot of, um, a lot of information coming through, or if I'm feeling a little stuck, a lot of times I'll feel it right there. In, in, there's a modality called transference healing that I really like. And in transference healing, this is actually called the Chiron point. So we can, we can feel how when we're moving through deep wounds, when we're moving through rubble and debris in our systems, this place between our heart and our solar plexus, right, can really get stagnant energy sometimes you just have to like burp it out, honestly. Like, I'm not kidding. <laughs> very ladylike, very graceful. But, you know, allow the energy to move up. If you haven't explored the Venus point activation and transmission, I'm also being told that that could be a really powerful place to play. I'll throw a link below. You can request that as well. Part of this energy is helping us move through, move past a place where we are running our trauma through our digestive system and so that we can start to run it through our heart space instead because our hearts were made for that, right? If we, and that's why we get so much debris in, in our power center is because we're, we're trying to process too much through that space where it doesn't belong. Invite it up. And you know, if it's already really deep, you can absolutely allow it to go 
back down into the earth and the earth will transmute it as well. The earth will transmute it as well. But our hearts were made for this. That's what the heart is for, is to pump through and break open and expand and grow each moment as we break our hearts. We open up our capacity to love even more and even more. And these fine tunings of breakings and falling aways and opening ups and Hmm. Oh, I can just, I can go all day on this. But instead, I'm going to say, I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Equinox portal, wherever it is that you are honoring and celebrating your equalization point. And as always, in all ways, so much and many loves to you from, through, and beyond the all dimensions. Oh, leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. Bye.